Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to do the yarn tag. <laughs> um, I've seen it floating around. I think I got tagged into it uh, at least once that I saw. And I want to... I got like a random hair. Is that a hair or is that a shadow? It's a shadow. <laughs> the lighting's bad. It's gloomy today. But anyways, um, I wanted to hop on here and do this tag. And I want to go ahead and just tag everybody. <laughs> if you haven't been tagged yet, feel free to go ahead and do it. And also, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you can uh, copy it. The questions, they'll be in the description box below. Answer them and you can fill them or put them in the comments section here. Or if you're in the Facebook group, you can feel free to post them over there. Because I know um, I enjoy reading and seeing what other people's answers are. So I'm sure other people do too. So uh, feel free to do that if you want to. Or if you want to keep it more private uh, for whatever reason, you can email it to me <laughs> if you want. That's fine too. But I'm going to go ahead and start with number one. And they will be in the descriptions for you to copy. So, number one is, what is your favorite yarn? Um, that's like a vast question, I think. Because uh, it also goes into weight, style, and fiber. <laughs> so, um, my favorite yarn to work with would pro at this moment, from the yarns that I've tried and enjoyed working with, I really, really like the Yarn Bee collection from Hobby Lobby. Their yarn is really soft. It's, it's pretty cheap. It's not like as cheap as Red Heart Super Saver. But it's like one tear up from there. And um, I enjoy it because it's really soft and smooth. And it uh, washes well and all that. So the Yarn Bee yarn from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite way to yarn? My favorite way is number four. I will work with thinner yarns and bulkier yarns. But my go-to is always number four. <laughs> Mostly because I make acrylic. Or not acrylic. Amigurumis and like decorations and blankets and stuff. So I usually stick to just number four. Number three is what style of yarn is your favorite? I don't even really know what that means. <laughs> um, what style of yarn? Does that mean like self-striping, variegated, solid? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to go with that that idea. And I really love solids because I can make amigurumis with them. And I also like self-striping because it takes the work out of picking colors. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm not sure if that's what that means, but we'll go with that. <laughs> Number four is what is your favorite fiber of yarn? Definitely acrylic. Uh, acrylic and cotton mostly uh i have issues with animal fibers especially alpaca like i'm like actually allergic to alpaca but i don't think i'm allergic to wool but it kind of irritates me it's just it's, it feels scratchy to me but i do have super sensitive skin so i don't know if that's why <laughs> but uh, i'm an acrylic person i have a uh no i have a shirt that says i'm a worsted gal so now i need one that says i'm a acrylic gal <laughs> Because uh, it's just easier for me to purchase it. It's, you know, more on hand here where I live. And uh, the type of things I like making, which my main things I love making are amigurumis and things to decorate with. Um, and acrylic works perfect for that. <laughs> Number five is what is your favorite brand of yarn that is easy to get in your country? Um, I, live, I live in the United States, so it's pretty easy for me to get most of the... Uh, brands that I use because <laughs> they're around me but I guess Red Heart and the Hobby Lobby yarns because I love I love this yarn and Yarn Bee and I know that um, I'm pretty sure that America is the only or the United States of America is the only country with Hobby Lobbies the reason I specify that is because Mexico and <laughs> Canada are also technically part of America because North America but whatever I digress <laughs> um so pretty much the Hobby Lobby yarns and Red Heart is really easy, you know, like super available here. It's like, you know, you go to Walmart and there's a whole aisle of Red Heart. <laughs> and uh, Red Heart is one of my favorites because I love Amigurumis. Number six is basically the same question about, about other countries. So it's what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get in your country? And uh, I don't really have an answer for that because I don't order yarns from other places. Not for any particular reason other than I hate waiting for stuff to ship. So, I do have some yarns that were gifted to me that are from other countries. I got some ice yarn right there, right there, and some I've already used. Um, I had a German yarn once, and that was just from swaps and gifts. So, uh, but I don't really order anything ever, even from like Hobby Lobby and all that, because I hate shipping. <laughs> I hate waiting for stuff. I'd rather just go buy it. Uh, what are we on? Number seven. Favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar store. So again, I don't order stuff online. I rarely order anything. I ordered some yarn from Knit Crate the other day only because I got a gift card from there. And um, so I ordered some yarn. And if I don't end up using it, it's going to go in my giveaway stash. Um, but my favorite brick and mortar store to go to for yarn is probably Hobby Lobby. Because it's, it's like 25 minutes from here. 
I like Joann's, but they don't seem to have as many good yarn sales. And um, their yarn seems a little bit more pricier. Like it, like their Red Heart is costs more than Walmart, and it's the same exact yarn. <laughs> so I usually buy from Walmart to get my Red Heart and stuff like that, and some Mandala cakes. Um, and then I go to Hobby Lobby for pretty much everything else. <laughs> Alright, number eight is do you keep scrap balls? And if you do, what do you use them for? Yes, I keep scrap balls. I have a huge container right here full of bags like this where they're separated by color. <laughs> it's like I have one of reds, one of uh, oranges and yellows, one of like browns and cream colors and skin tones, and also white and black up in there. Ones of blues and purples and, you know, just all separated like that. Uh, I use them mostly for amigurumis. That's what I've been using them for lately because I got in my amigurumi kick. But I also use them for scrap projects. I made a scrap blanket last uh, Christmas season with some of my scraps and some that was gifted to me, which was a lot of fun. And I hope I get to do that again this year. I want to set one up for another person, too. Like, maybe we can swap scrap balls. <laughs> I think uh, Llama Mama Kayla and Terry from Your Enjoy uh, podcast did that last year. But anyways, <laughs> uh, I just make scrap projects and I'm rooms with it mostly. But every now and then there'll be a like a half of a skein that I would just make like a hat with or something. Uh, let's see here. Number nine is what is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? I don't knit very much. I know how to knit. I just don't enjoy it because it's slow. <laughs> but my favorite thing to crochet switches from blankets. Because sometimes I get in like a blanket kick and I just make blankets all day long. And amigurumis, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love making house decorations. And um, I made some cardigans earlier this year or last year I can't remember when that was and uh, that was a lot of fun so I might get into doing that I don't know <laughs> but and I like I have moments where I love making hats and I make a ton of hats but uh, I kind of go through phases of what I like but right now it's amigurumi I'm working on a bunch of amigurumi right now and number 10 is the last one if uh if you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life what would it be and what arm would you use so one last thing, I mean, it's make it and then never make anything ever again. One, that would really be horrible. <laughs> Two, um, I would probably make another Mandala Madness and use Red Heart yarn again because it would take a long time. <laughs> I would draw it out. <laughs> my, my Mandala Madness I made in 2018. Was that 2018? I can't remember now. But I made it. It's huge. It took 17 and a half skeins of yarn. Um... It took me two months, exactly two months. Cause I started it uh, June twentieth. I'm trying to remember. I started June twentieth, and then I finished it uh, August twentieth, which was like a week before our fair started uh, that year. So I would probably do that again because uh, it would take a long time, and I would drag it out even further. Cause when I did it then, I was rushing, trying to hurry and get done with it, and um, I would drag it out so that it would last longer. <laughs> So that's the yarn questions tag. I feel like I messed up and I'm probably going to have to edit out a few things, <laughs> but that's okay. But like I said, any, anyone can feel free to do it and share it in the comments or on the Facebook group or email it. <laughs> or if you make videos, make a video. Uh, my very first uh, video I ever made was a re responding to a tag like this. So, um, you know, maybe that's your cue to start making videos. <laughs> but uh, I would love to see what you guys' answers are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.